Hi there, Representative Jeff Morris from the 40th Legislative District Position 2. It's about halfway through the legislative session down here in Olympia. A lot of policy bills that uh, started in the House have to be in the Senate now. If they were not passed out, uh, they, they are dead for the session unless they have an impact on the budget towards the end of the legislative session. And so we're starting to have House bills heard in the Senate and Senate bills are being heard in House committees where the bulk of the, the work, legislative work is actually done. I always appreciate your comments on those issues and your emails have uh, helped me do a better job so far in this legislative session. So I hope you continue letting me know your comments on uh, legislative topics as they come up in the news or you might see one in, in one, hear about in one of the telephone town halls that we've been running in the 40th legislative district. But I do appreciate your comments on it. I'm going to talk a second about an issue that I'm hearing a lot about every time I talk to someone uh, in our area about the coal trains that are proposed up north of uh, Bellingham near Cherry Point. I've heard from thousands of you across the district with your concerns, uh, not only along the rail line that would go from Mount Vernon up to Bellingham, but also in the San Juan Islands with con dire concerns about the increased traffic of uh, coal container ships uh, uh, hauling, exporting coal to Asian markets. Um, the scoping process has concluded. They're uh, currently considering uh, the, the scope of the uh, environmental impact of that facility. Chris Litton and Kevin Ranker and myself have, have been quite uh, vocal about hoping that there at the least is a Western, uh, Western Washington-wide uh, uh, impact statement done, but our preference is to have a statewide impact done to look at the impacts from uh, the Columbia Gorge all the way up to Whatcom County. Um, it's, it's ironic in a time when we are uh, making such effort to re reduce our carbon footprint that we would take such a prized uh, energy resource, natural resource for the United States and ship it to uh, other countries that don't have our same environmental laws to undermine the cost of their, manu of, uh, to lower the cost of their manufactured goods as they reach here uh, to our markets and, and have uh, our manufacturers operate at a higher cost which cost them jobs in the end. We don't have a national energy policy that addresses this issue. So it's up to states to kind of step up, I think, in every way we can to make sure that our manufacturers have the access to some of the low cost energy that other world uh, economies, other parts of the world economy do. Now, I think that it's a better national policy to keep that resource until we can burn it more cleanly without endangering our environment and creating climate change. Uh, but those days aren't here yet, and uh, again, exporting this to use it in a way that we can't currently here in the United States just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, we're waiting eagerly for that uh, scoping of that environmental impact process to come out from uh, the Department of Ecology in Whatcom County, and when it's available, I think you'll see your local legislators step up and either uh, demand more state intervention um, or embrace the entire process if it's a statewide impact statement that will be done. I appreciate your comments on this, and as uh, we move towards that decision of how big that study will be for the coal export terminal, uh, I always appreciate your insight and your thoughts, and it helps me do my job better, so please uh, contact me via email or the 800 number.